Hi guys, welcome back. And today we're going to talk about ChatGPT, also known as an open AI, and if there are any uses for it in Excel. I'm super excited about this. Let's go. So let's start by having a look at what ChatGPT is. Simply, let's just ask it, what is open AI? What we need to do is just type in any question here. It's a lot of fun. Let's try. What is open AI? Now it's generating a response. OpenAI is a research organization that aims to develop and promote friendly AI in a way that benefits all of humanity. It was founded by Elon Musk and blah, 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 blah. Now, the first thing we're going to ask ChatGPT to help us with is to split the names up that are in these cells. So it's from cell B3 all the way to B12. Let's go over and see how it can help us. OK, let's ask Excel. How do we do this? Open AI. How can we separate the names in column B in Excel? Text to columns. One way to separate the names is to use text to columns. This can be found under the data tab. Interesting. And then we can use a delimiter in a column wizard. A split function is another way you can use it. So as you can see, it's pretty comprehensive. And then we have it, flash fill. So OpenAI doesn't only give us one option of what we need to do. It continues until either we press the stop generating or it gives us a comprehensive answer. So there we have it. So we could do text to columns, a split function, a flash fill, or use a formula. So let's just go and have a look at the text to columns. So as we go here, we can highlight the column, go to data, text to columns, and delimited by a space or a tab. Let's say there we go. So if you do the space, it's just telling Excel that we need to have a limiter, which is a space separate that out there's already data there it's just going to sp spill it across and there you have it so just need to make sure you don't select the top row but there you go now another thing we could ask it to do is to help us with some formulas so we want to know what is the profit between the two obviously here if we want to simply do a function we can do it we just want to ask chat GPT if he or she can help us Let's go. Okay, so let's just ask ChatGPT, how do we want to find the profit in Excel between the cell C3 and D3? Let's see how he helps us, or even she. Struggling a bit here. Let's go. You can use the formulas D3 minus C3 and there we go. So you can see, pretty useful. Alternatively, you can use the sum function. That's just great. Let's try the first one. Okay, so equals D3 minus C3. And there you have it. So these are the very simple functions. Let's test it out and see what it can really do. Now, perhaps you wanna have a look at the bonuses over here and you want to make a macro. Do you think that ChatGPT could do that for us? Let's go ahead and ask. Okay, how can I make a macro in Excel to calculate 10% from a column? Let's see. And there we have it. It gives you step by step every single thing that you would need to create a macro. And the information continues all the way so that it can help you to generate whatever you need. There we go. There you have it, guys. 
OpenAI is here to stay. ChatGPT is just the beginning. We're scratching the surface when it comes to AI tools and look forward to having a look at different tools in order to help us with our work and especially during Excel. See you next time.